Today I'm going to show you how to assemble IKEA Hemness chest of drawers. In this case, it's going to be eight drawers. Let's do it. First, I will show you what you're getting in the box. So you have three boxes with this drawer, with this chest of drawer. I had a lot of material here. This is just for you to have an idea how much stuff you're getting with this chest of drawer. That's all the materials, screws, quite a lot of them. So that's indicated there's going to be a lot of work in this Hemness chest of drawer. Good practice, put one of the cardboards on the floor if you have a wooden floor, so you're not going to scratch uh, the floor while you're building this unit. And we can prepare the side panels now. So you're going to have two on each side, two left and two right ones. So just separate them, check the instructions. So you are on the right place. Now pack number one open the screws, you're going to have six those long screws with the plastic on the middle and four wooden plugs. Four wooden plugs, they're going to go on the sides, so two on each side, just place them in and secure the three screws on each of those panels. Those panels, they're going to be joined with the middle panel. I'm going to show you in a moment how to do that. So first you prepare those panels, make sure you do this right, so you're going to be able to join it with the middle. Two wooden plugs on the other side on each panel and three screws. Just till the stopper, no deeper, no higher, you remember. Otherwise you're gonna have a problem to secure the locks. There is three on each side. Once you've done that, you can prepare the middle panels, so that's the ones. And we can join them together with those uh, two small panels on the side. So find the right holes. At this point, if you did everything right, you see the top is going to lining up nicely with the with the middle panel. And exactly the same on the other side. Place it in and the top is lining up nicely. You see the one side have the small cut that's going to be for the back panels. On the other side, exactly the same. One is square, one is one have this uh, small gap where you're going to put the uh, back panel at the end. So place those together, join together with the middle panel. At this point you should have the top nice and straight. Now plastic locks. Put the locks, this is just a plastic locks. Don't forget to put the arrow in the right direction. I'm gonna show you at the beginning here and that apply to all. That's the arrow on a, it's gonna be on a, each of the locks. So the arrow is always pointing to the holes. You see, it's gonna lock that head of the screw once you twist it. So arrow in and it's applied to all of the locks. So the arrows on the lock pointing to the hole where the screw is. Exactly the same on the other side. So we got six locks at this point joining the um, side panels. Place them in. And we can secure it with the screwdriver or or electric screwdrivers as in as it in this case is a good help if you have any electric screwdriver with this job there is a lot of screws if you're interested I'm gonna leave the links in the description so you check it out you can check it out what I'm using so we secure all the locks we're gonna have uh, four legs plastic legs you see those edges I'm gonna show you where exactly the edges should go so just place it in on the bottom of the side panels and you see those edges should go on the inner side so that just prevent the plastic legs against the spinning once you build the unit now we get are gonna have uh, more of these long screws now we're gonna place them on the side of the side panel three on the one side and one on the inner side. Sorry, four on the one side and one on the inner side. And we're gonna attach the rails for the drawer to the side panels. So you're gonna have left and right uh, rails. So you see it's L on one side, R 
on other side so it's a left and a right don't mix them up it's important because if the wheel is going to be the other way around you're not going to be able to slide the drawers in so place the right ones on the right side left on the left side the important things basically the wheel of the ray on the rail is at the bottom yeah, so when you place the drawer in you go in over the top and we can secure the drawer rails with the two screws one on each side three drawer rails at this point on the side panels on each of the side panel with the screw go all the way in so the head is nice and flat in a railing so it's not going to interfere with the drawers once you do the drawers. We can put them on the side. This is going to be the middle part for the small drawers. See this one is going to be with the leg. So the leg is on the longer side and the plain one is at the end. Back number two and we can secure the leg at the bottom. Good practice put all the screws all the locks on the same place so you have a better uh, you can organize better yourself once you're assembling three wooden planks on the slim middle panel and we can join it with the bigger panel just place the wooden plugs in now we can prepare the drawer rails exactly the same like with the side panels it's gonna be left and right ones so three and three you see this is right there is a R on each of the drawer and L on each of the drawer rail on the other side so we're gonna go with the right ones first there it is right on the holes front, middle and at the back exactly the same just find the holes so then you know you're in the right position it should match exactly it's a bit flimsy because you're joining those three panels together so just find the holes if as long as it's matching on the middle at the front and on the back then you're in the right place just secure all three screws so basically those rails they're gonna hold the whole construction of this uh, middle panel and once we have it one side, just flip it on the other side and do the left side now. Exactly the same, find all the three holes. At this point you should be fine because you joined the first side already. So just secure it with the three screws on each rail. And uh, don't forget to go with the screws all the way in. So the head of the screw lining up nicely with the rail. So it's not going to interfere later on. One wooden plugs at the bottom. We're going to have few different, uh, four different screws here. Those ones are all metal and just place them in. They are a bit shorter on the screw because you have to join them in the same hole from one side and another side. So two on each side. And we can put this on the side for now. Uh, now we can start to join the uh, side panels. So you're gonna have long ones and the shorter ones, three long ones for shorter ones. You see those long ones, they are different. There is three holes on one side and I think six holes on the other side. So the more holes, the one's gonna go on the top. So we're gonna place three wooden plaques, one on each of the long ones and exactly the same in the small ones, one wooden plaque on each side. You can place the whole thing in. lock secure it exactly the same with the uh, regarding the arrow on the lock small ones they coming on the middle place them in see the holes are at the bottom so you're not gonna see them from the top place the locks you can place the locks here straight away secure the those uh, slim dividing panels because they are a bit flimsy at this point so once you secure the see this is the one with the more holes this one's coming on the top secure them straight away because um they are very slim so they're quite flimsy if you push it a little bit you may go down so um secure the locks straight away once you put the panel in so this is a plain one this one going at the back the bottom of the unit secure it straight away as well now we're gonna have the long wooden plaques 
the ones coming to the other side of the small ones, small panels, small dividing panels. And this is the middle panel. So now we're going to go all the way through for those wooden plugs and we're going to secure on the top and the bottom with the screw. So you find the hole for the screw. That's the plain one at the back and secure it with the long uh, black screws. Those going through the bottom panel to the back panel of the middle panel. That's the plain panel there. Okay. At this point it's kind of holding so you can focus on the front. You see, that's the hole where it's going to go from the top into the, this panel and this one going to go at the bottom connecting the whole thing together. So now you can press it all in slowly, just tap it in, go easy here because the whole construction is a bit flimsy at this point. See those wooden plugs, they come to the other side and we can secure the long screw through the bottom and exactly the same through the top. See, there is the hole. Everything is pre-drilled, so you don't need to think about any holes to drill. Everything is pre-drilled, so just find the right hole and secure the middle panel from the top as well. Once you've done that, we can start with the other two small panels. Just place them in the middle. Secure the locks straight away. Place the arrow in the right position as always and secure it. Top wooden plugs on each. Place them in the back panel, same. Now we have to put the other side panel in. So to find all the holes at the same time. Yeah, go slowly here, take your time, probably one of the holes going to pop out. So just one by one, place it in. Once you find all the holes, just tap it all in, join the structure together. Once you're happy with that, check it all around. It is all connected. There is no gaps and you can place the lock locks again in all the holes. So you're going to have four at the front, two big ones, two small ones and one on the back. Exactly the same plastic locks. Unfortunately, they didn't put the metal ones. Anyway, we have to work with what we have. So just secure the lock, twist it to the right side and lock the whole units, unit together. Now we can put the unit on the legs. Go slowly here. Yeah. See if, if, if it's two of you, that's, that's better, but you can do it yourself as well. It's not very heavy at this point. Now we're going to do the middle panels. So it's going to be two wooden plugs in each uh, panel on the top. And we're going to join those two small panels with it. Just tap it in on the top and secure it with the two long screws. So this is just the holding this together. And exactly the same on the other side. Just join those two panels together. This is going to be dividers for the for the small drawers on the top. Now we can open the drawers. Each box have a four pieces. So we're going to select the ones which they're going on the panels. So it's one left, one right as before. And we secure each with the two screws. One on the front, one on the back. Then flip them over and exactly the same. Don't forget the wheel is always at the bottom. Screws two on each rail, the heads lining up nicely with the rail so it's not going to interfere with the drawer. So from one side and another side. Now we can prepare uh, these, uh, for these panels to come in. So it's going to be two screws, one from the top, one from the bottom. They're possibly going to pop out, so, but I'd like to have them prepared. So when you put the panel, you have easier time when you're putting them in because you're going to go with both of them at the same time. It's a bit flimsy uh, to fit this in. So you see there is a pre-drilled hole already. So just find the hole, push the lower one in and you can secure the top find the bottom hole. Make sure you're in a hole. Sometimes you feel like you're in there, but um, you don't want to start to drill in a in a place where it's not. So you see the panel lining them nicely with the front. So that's where you, how you know you're in the right uh, position. 
exactly the same on the top screw that screw a little bit out so you can find the hole easier than the bottom one so you now sticking out so I have to pull it down and push it in the panel secure the top and the bottom so the panel lining up nicely with the front and the top and now we can place the wooden plugs all on the top we're gonna prepare basically for the top panel to come in all the wooden plugs in secure them with a hammer and you can prepare the locks as well just place them there's a three locks on each side You're gonna have two on those small uh, dividing panels for the small drawers one in the plain one on the middle that's the leg the back dividing panel on the middle for the small one another one and last three on the ending panel don't forget the arrows in the right position at this point they're facing up yeah, because you're gonna have a lot of screws now with the top panel, so do this right, otherwise you're not gonna be able to put that panel in. Now we can prepare the panel, so it's gonna be three on the side, two screws on the middle, one on the back, so basically everywhere where we put the locks, they mirroring with the panel, so the screws mirroring with the locks. Don't go deeper, don't go higher, there is a stopper on the screw. This is a... Uh, kind of piece of fabric just securing you want to secure this unit to the wall I in my opinion very useless very silly uh, thing to put why right? they just cannot put few L-shaped brackets on each side and uh, anyway that's what they did here because the uh, the unit should be secured to the wall especially if you have small kids it's gonna be a big unit okay the top panel in find all the holes here is a bit tricky because you get so many screws on the top so you're gonna have to go just one by one find the right holes place it all in so once you in like halfway through check it all out again and then you can tap it all in yeah don't go hard it should go nice and easy everywhere hold the middle parts because they don't have support at the back when you when you're putting the whole uh, top panel in and once you all in without the gaps you can secure the locks secure the locks on the middle on the side and the leg at the back yeah regarding that securing to the wall this uh, small piece of fabric is useless not like uh, let's say in a, in the Malm units they put those nice uh, L-shaped brackets one on each side and let's say you secure it to the wall there is small cut at the back panel so it's much more uh, sturdy than this one I feel like okay at the front you're gonna have two screws on each side securing the um, top panel that's why you have the more holes on the front slim panels what I was mentioning before now we can put the units at the front so the back is up so we can secure the back panel just place it in right in the gaps the useless wall mounting thingy stick it through the hole mark the middle you don't need to do this I do it I explain you why in a moment so just find the gaps place it in there is small gap on the top so just slide it in so you should lining up nicely with the bottom check if the unit is in the right position if yes you can just mark the middle and the sides you don't need to do this I do this extra because I feel like it gives a bit more support to the units Now we can secure all the nails all around it once the unit is in the right position how you find out you see I was measuring from corner to corner so once you get the same number from corner to corner the unit is right in 90 degrees in each corner so I'm securing the middle as well you see I put few screws where I was marking because um, the middle panels they don't have any uh, support apart from the locks so that's why I mark the middle panels and put few screws now we're going to show you how to do the first drawer you can uh, basically do all drawers exactly the same not going to bother you with uh, all drawers so first you're going to have the uh, front panel there's going to be four screws in a front panel place them in don't go too deep don't go too high there is a stopper going to stop you from going deep one small screws 
at the bottom of the front drawer. Now we're going to have two parts, one left, one right. This is going to be the middle panels, so two wooden plugs in each panel. Place it in and we can prepare the locks, so there is a two locks in each panel. Arrow facing, of course, to the right direction, pointing to the holes. Now we can put the panel down, the front panel, and place it, the side panels in. Find the right holes, place it in, no gap, other side exactly the same, place it in the right holes, at this point the locks are on the outer side, secure it, Twist the lock to the right side. Other side panel exactly the same, twist it to the right side. Back panel, place it in, there is a gap at the front panel. And the back panel here, just securing the from the back side with the, I think three of those, of those plugs, yeah, three plastic plugs. Just place them in from one side and the other side exactly the same, three plastic plugs securing the back panel with the side panels. Drawer rails, don't forget the drawer rail, you see the wheel should be at the back always, once you put it at the front not gonna be able to slide it in. Secure it with the two screws, the head lining up nicely with the rail, see the wheel is at the back. You're gonna have uh, two handles, on the big drawers one in a small one. Just secure it in. And a support for the uh, drawer, good thing. You see going through that small screw and securing at the back with the other one. The small uh, drawers, they don't have this support, so just uh, the big ones. So just go over the wheel here, lift it up and you slide it in. This should go nice and easy, no any uh, hard putting in, you see, just wheel over the wheel and slide it in. Now I'm gonna show you how to speed it all up, so I'm just gonna put it on a fast uh, paste here. Just wanna show you how to speed up the whole process. Basically you're doing the all, all things at the same time, so you got another um, seven drawers to go. So all the side panels, you put it together, place the plugs in at the same time, place the locks at the same time, so you save a lot of time uh, this way. You can copy basically uh, the front drawer for all of them. Dif 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 difference between the big ones and small ones. The small ones don't have a support at the bottom. The big ones, they have the support and they have a two uh, drawer handles instead of the small one have only one. See, that's how you speed up the whole thing. You do the same operation at the same time. So basically you put the rails at the same time for all panels. You put the screws in the front panels at the same time. So it saves you a lot of time if you have a seven drawers or eight drawers um, together instead of doing one by one uh, all operation at the same time. And this is it. This is it. This is IKEA Hemness 8 drawer chest i hope you enjoy it guys if yes thumbs up subscribe to my channel as always don't forget check out the tools i'm using in the descriptions and see you in my next one very very soon